It's completely messed up. Welcome to public school, Finn. Here we are in the middle of a pandemic and my homeschooled kid is going to school. They claim it's my fault. Really for their own good that they have to be in jail. Good morning, Seekers. I'm glad you found us today. It is Friday, and it is Finn's orientation for high school today. His first time going in the school and meeting people and practicing wearing a mask and social distancing with friends and all of that. That to be interesting. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. He's only there for two and a half hours, so I... I'm just in sweats because I'm still going to have my bath. So, Finn, if I'm late picking you up, that's why. You just come to wait on the lawn. I'm just going to be freaking sitting on the lawn all day because of the schedule thing. Yeah, well, yeah, his schedule came out and it's completely messed up. He, he has, they scheduled him for um, Spanish too. He's never even taken Spanish in his life, so he has no idea why that's on there. We didn't request any Spanish. We didn't request any languages at all. And no other classes. It's all work release. And well, one English class in the morning. So he's supposed to be meeting his mentors, his teachers, but he doesn't even know who his teachers are. So basically he gets to go to the assembly and then go to the office and try and figure out his schedule. Welcome to public school, Finn. Now you see why I hate it, especially in ninth grade. It's the worst. All right, well, here we are going to the drop off. Looks like we're pretty early. There's no one else here. That and the fact that today is only for ninth grade and new high schoolers, I think. I don't even think prep schoolers are coming today, but it's a really small school, so who knows? But there's a kid your age, it's getting dropped off and let's see what happens with them. Probably they'll try and enter that door and it'll be locked and then they'll walk around the front. We'll see. Let's see what they do. Let me see what they do. Yep, see, here he goes. Here he goes. Alright, are you ready? They don't even have their masks on. Already breaking protocol. They didn't come back, so maybe that door is open if you want to go that way. Okay. It's up to you. Have fun. You didn't bring a notebook or anything, huh? Oh, <laughs> Well, good luck. Do you have your phone? Okay, so if you finish early or if you're gonna stay later, text me. So like if you're still talking to the in the office at like 12, message me and say, I don't know if I'm gonna be done because I'm in the tub. I'm I don't wanna get out if I don't have to. <laughs> Alright, have fun. See ya. Don't be scared, Finny. Oh, he's scared. I can tell. He's so nervous. Bye, Finney. Going in the door. Uh, he decided to go the other way. <laughs> I knew it. Oh, I love it. All right. I told him, you're a high schooler now. You got to learn to advocate for yourself and handle things on your own. I'm not going to come in and talk to the office about your schedule. You got to figure it out yourself. Wish him luck, seekers, because he's going to need it. I got home and I, I just, I can't believe I'm crying. Is this what moms of kindergartners feel like when they drop their kids off for the first time at school? Ugh, my stomach is in knots. I'm like super worried because he didn't take any notebook or any backpack and he took that Gatorade bottle and I don't know if they're allowed to have Gatorade at the school and I didn't think of that until after he walked away and I'm like, what if they take his drink away? And I'm like, all these thoughts and I'm like, oh my gosh, he's 14, he's going to be 15 in a few weeks. He's got this. He can handle this. I know he can handle it. I just don't know if I can. And here we are in the middle of a pandemic and my homeschooled kid is going to school. <sighs> Give me strength. Awesome, albeit short bath, and I am heading back to the school to pick up Phineas. Last I heard, they were telling him that I messed up 
and I'm the one who put all of the work releases on his schedule and that is not true I have it saved in my um, notes on my phone all of the classes that I painstakingly came up with and so I sent that to him and he was supposed to be waiting for the counselor he messaged me like two hours ago hour and a half ago yeah, hour and a half ago, he's been sitting there. He's not responding right now, so I'm guessing he's in with the counselor, but I'm heading down just in case he's gabbing with kids and he's just waiting for me to pick him up. I might be stuck in the car for a little while, but I think that's okay. I'm gonna head down and see how it went. Hopefully he got his schedule, cause school starts Monday. All right, well, I'm here to the school. He says he has not met with the counselor yet, or at least he thought he did, but they didn't help him fix it. So I'm going inside to help him on the first day because that's what moms do and the amount of kids congregating outside the doors of this school without masks on has me stressed beyond beyond max <laughs> car wash the school bell it's about to scare you to death so we got his schedule figured out they claim it's my fault I claim it's their computer's fault but they were able to give him all the classes he wanted so there's that so he has a schedule for Monday he's all ready to go yeah yeah and I'll claim here maybe we'll be able to see out our windows now I never wash the car because it seems like every time you wash the car, something happens. So, what was it like? What did you do? What did you do? What was it like? Sat in the gym all day. You sat in the gym? Did you do anything like, did they, they talked about all the rules and yeah. what it was going to be like the first week maybe? Uh, I it was going to be like short days. Short days this first week? Yeah. So you did you go? You met a teacher. You went to a class. Yeah. What? A teacher. A teacher. And he's not. Hello, I'm so loud. Because when we went into the schedule, I switched the teacher and he didn't say anything, even though he liked that teacher. I hope you like the old guy, because I picked the old guy because he was Xander's teacher when he went to the school and he and Xander really loved him. So here's hoping you'll also think he's cool. Okay. He's just gonna eat and chomp and it's good. I'm hungry. Awesome. I can't eat that. I guess we better head home. It looks like we're about to go through the dryer. It says to go, so we'll catch you guys in a little while. Oh, for heaven's sake. What are you doing in here? I do not want to deal with you being booty. Oh. So I have two chickens that were sitting in the same box, what, four hours later? Looks like they're going broody again. Uh, help me now. Wish these baby would start laying eggs. I paused to fill up the water and get the broody breaker ready for another chicken. And sure enough, yep, she's already back in the thing. And she's like, nope, don't get me. Oh, yes, I got the one in there. I don't think the other one has gone back in her box. So I think this is her right here walking around all puffy. I don't think I can catch her. I don't think I can catch her while she's on the ground. I'll have to get her later this afternoon. Because guaranteed, with a puff ball like that, she'll be back on the nest before I, before you know it. So I'm gonna run inside, get myself something to eat. I haven't eaten yet today. And then I'll come back out this afternoon, check on them, put them in. Um, on the docket for today, we pretty much finished what we were planning, which was getting Phineas's schedule set and taking him to that orientation. School starts Monday, oh my heck, I'm freaking out. And then I'm just gonna go continue my product projects in my room. I might try and organize my bookshelf or the basket next to my bed. 
the one that I showed yesterday that's looking pretty ratty tatty. I go through it every, probably about every four months I redo it, but I just am not an organized person. It's hard for me to keep things organized. I just really, I just don't do that. And so I'm just gonna go through it and see if I can make it look a little bit more presentable, get in my room prepared for when I get COVID because it's gonna be soon with all these kids going back to school. Good afternoon now, and I got the girls going to dance. Ronnie's got to teach. Virginia's got a class and me, I get to sit in the car. I was gonna bring a book to read, but I didn't actually find one. So, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Sit in the hot car for a long time. Ronnie says there's a new teacher in? today, so hopefully you won't come back and you'll be like, I love her, instead of, yeah, she was okay. She was really good. <laughs> like she does. <laughs> well, that's what she said about the one teacher she wasn't fond of. <laughs> and when Heather was teaching, she was just like, oh, she was great. <laughs> Thanks, Heather. And now I wait under the tree again. Hopefully this time the cops won't surprise me. I'm not supposed to park here, but it's the best spot. This tree is great. She's back. I'm not dead yet, but I feel like I might be. So, how was the new teacher? Huh? All right. Huh? All right. It's probably going to get out of her, I think, with the mask on. Yeah, Apparently she was a professional dancer and worked with a bunch of professional people. Is that what you said? Yeah. Can't hear you, but there you go. No cops bugged me today, so that's good. And the guy hasn't come out to yell at me to get out of from under his tree, so that's good too. All right, still have a half an hour until Ronnie gets done. Ronnie's back, yay! Time to go home. Are you ready? I'm so ready. <laughs> I hate sitting in the car this long, and it's gonna be like this a lot in the future. What is this? Oh, how cute! I can see what it is. <laughs> That's adorable. Aww. That's so cute. I don't have very many Halloween decorations. That's adorable. Can I hang it inside or out? I love it, super cute. This is a thank you from a good friend of mine who I've been giving eggs to every week since the pandemic started. She uh, brought me a little gift to say thank you for all the eggs and some egg cartons. And now I have a witchy. Why do I look, does she look like me? Little oh, crud. What are you doing in there? Ceratops? Oh. Have I got three broody chickens at once? Good grief. Well, that explains why I haven't been getting as many eggs. Now I gotta go get warm. I see she is also in the box, just like I thought, in her nest. Three at once, huh? Three at once. <laughs> Good grief. Well, luckily, after a few days in the box, they should be back to laying eggs, and I should be getting my regular amount. But it's really frustrating. These chickens, I hand raised these chickens. They were given to me as babies back last summer, but they're a year old, and they go broody like I've never seen anything in the world. Like, I swear, they want to be always sitting on the nest, and that's just not gonna work for me. They're not on the nest, they're not laying. And if, I mean, if they're sitting on the nest, they're not laying. Also, if they're sitting on the nest, they're not eating or taking care of themselves, which means that's not good for them. So it's really for their own good that they have to be in jail. That's just how it is. Well, anyway, thanks guys for hanging out with us today. It was a fun day sending Phineas off to high school and getting his schedule all worked out and it was kind of crazy. Uh, I still don't exactly know what I did wrong in submitting it, but hey, what do I know? I'm just a homeschooler, right?
<laughs> anyway, thanks so much for hanging out with us today. Don't forget to comment if you can. Sometimes you can. Don't forget to give us a nice big thumbs up. Check out Eloise's channel in the uh, end card and in the description below. She could really use her support. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that button, turn on the bell notifications so that you don't miss any videos. Bye Seekers, find us later. Bye, Bye. Bye.